Flipper Zero has gone viral, and now it's on the verge of being banned in many countries. But the root problem are corporations such as HID and NXP, who for over a decade have knowingly sold cracked and insecure credentials. One of the world's largest access control manufacturers, Dormacaba, just revealed a vulnerability impacting 3 million doors based on using MyFair Classic, credentials that have known to be cracked for more than 16 years. But NXP keeps selling them anyway. Since at least 2010, the largest physical access control credential provider, HID, has claimed they were facilitating a migration away from them. And more than five years ago, HID blamed it on the market, hypocritically advocating these cracked products be sold by a trusted partner like themselves. Today, IPVM statistics show that nearly half of all physical access credentials are still cracked or insecure 125 kilohertz prox ones with HID most common. There has been nowhere close to enough migration despite the vendor's claims. Meanwhile, hacking devices like Heezy and 125kHz Prox cloners have expanded, but now there is Flipper Zero. In the past three years, the self-proclaimed multi-tool device for hackers has drawn immense awareness to these problems. Hundreds of thousands of these devices are now being used across the United States alone, allowing anyone without any real hacking skills to exploit these credentials. Because of that, public concern has risen. Even an HID director has publicly warned that the flipper renders 125kHz prox-based cards and readers not just obsolete, but actually dangerous. And that, with all the noise around Flipper Zero, now is the time to stop selling or using 125kHz prox but HID keeps selling them anyway. Now, governments such as Brazil and Canada are restricting or blocking sales. The US may very well be next. Flipper Zero's CEO defended his product, emphasizing that if you actually think something can be hacked by a $100 toy, maybe it's too old. What's worse is that what's being hacked is not old. Even brand new sales from HID and others are taking advantage of selling cracked and insecure credentials. If governments are going to really consider banning Flipper Zero, they should really start by stopping sales of insecure credentials that are the underlying problem.